look at that. Vampiro right. Oh, is it? Oh, that is wow. so cool. Wow. Wow, look at that. Wow. Holy cow. Okay, it took about oh, what? 15 <laughs> captures. Not enough. <laughs> I'm, I'm still going. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. There it is. That's yeah. it. That's it. That's that's it. Oh my goodness, that's a Now let's is. see what it way it's laying. Folks watching at home, this is the wreck of German U boat. U two five one three. This uh this wreck has been here on the seafloor since nineteen fifty one when it was sunk by the US Navy in a series of exercises. Ordered sunk by gunfire after six years in US naval service after just uh, actually only about a few months in German service. What the? That's amazing. Goodness. What is this? Like a siphonophore? Wow. I can't believe that's a living thing. So for those of you viewing, we think this might be a siphonophore. I'm taking like crazy frame grabs right now. <laughs> that's great. <laughs> I bet you that thing would sting bad if you would. Sting? Uh-huh. <laughs> You got touched by that back portion? Yeah. Uh, the best known of these siphonophores is a what? Portuguese man of war, and that's actually much longer than whatever we're seeing right now. And although a si siphonophore appears to be a single organism, each specimen is actually a colony composed of many individual animals. Most colonies are long, thin, transparent, pelagic floaters. Wait. And some siphonophor siphonophores superficially resemble jellyfish. Good there. <laughs> it looks so it looks cool. like a nuclear lava lamp. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So how long is this incubation done for? Uh, six hours. Okay. And then okay. the idea is when we come back, there won't be any stain in the new growth. Right. Yeah, so on that note, the brine oh, yeah. pool is oh, yeah. three to five times more saltier, I believe, than the surrounding ocean water. And because of the difference in the salinity, the two bodies of water aren't really going to mix. It's funny, it's like, like you're going in the water, yourself. but you're in the water. Making waves in the brine pool. Yeah, you can yeah. see the little brine coming up. Yeah, it's wow, a real beautiful. nice area in there. Uh, yeah, this is a big, big, you know, that's a big ship. And we have tons of viewers. I'll tell you. <laughs> well, cool. U.S. Well, Navy. Well, we'll tell them in a minute. That's, that's all it is. He. That's all it is in What a name. He. Oh, wow. Can There's I, a lot of IC cables. I bumped you a little bit. Windows on the bridge are buttoned up. See them? They're buttoned up. They've dropped their shades. Well, uh, we're going to go to the stern. Let's solve this mystery. There's okay. something. There's something. Yeah. It says it right in the back. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. No, no, but that would have been foiled everything. <laughs> no, we had to have this, you know, we had plus commercials. We had to drag this out, you know. You're looking at a, a sunken oil tanker, the Gulf oh, yeah. Oil, sunk in 1942 during World War II. We it was sunk by a German U-boat. 18 crew and the captain survived after the ship sank in less than two minutes. They were rescued 35 hours later. So Yep, there it is. And for those of you that are watching, there it is. The U-166 yes. German U-boat. That is beautiful. The gun sitting on top. So the German U-166 was a submarine uh, during World War II and was sunk July 30th in 1942 right here in the Gulf of Mexico. We're getting some great footage from Hercules. So viewers and listeners, we are now <coughs> exploring the SS Robert E. Lee. My pen. Look at that Look reveal. Look at that beautiful part. reveal. Now move. Wow. Oh, no, I love it. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Look. Oh, it's, you know, it's you know, like 70. It's been underwater 72 years. A little less, a little more collapsing in on its own gravity. That's deck. I think it's just. Get you, you know, my Hercules. The rest is collapsed in. Drive forward now, Ruben, and I want to get up to the bow. There's the cutting APM. edge of the bow. Sunday, July 6th. 2014. Okay. All right, coming out wide. Tether snatcher on the starboard railing. Ooh, that's a Dumbo. Look at those one. ears. The cool wow. shot. Wow, nice one. Ooh, and it looks different. They all just lovely. Yeah. What are the What are the fringes for that are on the bottom of its tentacles? Those are for grabbing 
Uh, the prey, I think. Yeah, probably. Is that a siphonophore again? Yeah, we were just hanging out with his cousin in the Gulf of Mexico. See him retract. So those are feed, probably feeding appendages, right? So some siphonophores I've just read can be up to 40 to 50 meters long. He's drifting down slope, huh? Just with the current, I guess. Yeah. So it's rearranged it's itself like like it's a, rate he did. a couple times. Do we know what it's, why it's doing that? I think it did get snagged, and, and that's what it drew, it drew out. You know, why we saw it elongated because it was being kind of caught on the rock. So the lower part. It's kind of the frilly part. I think that's the where it, it resembles the uh, the mantle of the the Portuguese man of war. The nematis is this, that's where the stinging cells are. And that's Eric, all the zoom and all the light I have. Eric Cordes says that the they have very strong nematis. It's very strong stinging cells. So I see you copy. We're almost out of tether. Copy. Yeah. We are uh, quite content. Okay, this. good. We're definitely going to get a lot of karma. Good, good. 